hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is adwaka precious and welcome to the somival tv okay if you hadn't subscribed already please like share subscribe and i will need you to leave your opinions or what you've um, learned from this video in the comment section and what you would love to be seen on this channel videos you want to be seen on this channel and i'll try as much as i can to film them okay so let's be more engaging and welcome to the somival tv family okay so today i'll be talking about emotional healing what is emotional healing emotional healing is more like an act of acknowledging integrating and processing your emotions I'm, I'm kind of more of integrating acknowledging and accepting and processing past painful experience or hurtful experiences and you're not looking at them in order to stay in those hurts you're looking at them and acknowledging them integrating and processing them so that you can heal and go past it so you can be a better person and treat people better okay so with that being said I would like to go take you through the process of how you can heal i would like to mention before i begin that healing is not linear healing is not something that you come and be like okay i am healed because there are a lot of experiences we go through in life that are painful and hurtful and it's not our fault as example the loss of a loved one it can be really painful but it has nothing to do with you and you may still you may still be blaming yourself for their death you may still be saying if i had gotten there earlier they wouldn't have died if i'd been there maybe i would have done something and you just keep living in that past and with what you would have done instead of accepting that this has happened and you're moving past it now you may be going through a divorce a heartbreak even church hurts there are a lot of experiences one can go through in life or abuses so how can you heal from all this emotional pain and or first of all how do you know that you are you need emotional healing how you know that you need emotional healing is there there are there are things that still trigger you there are statements that trigger you there there is what washing um there is what Maybe you see in a particular video, dust your mind, it triggers you, it makes you sad, it makes you angry, it makes you react to people in a certain kind of way. Once you notice the way you feel and what triggers your emotions, then you know that you have to connect the dots. You have to seek the T's and or you need to you need to cross the ticks um rather you need to cross the t's what am i saying you need to cross the t's and dot the i's and know why am i feeling this way once you've acknowledged why you're feeling that way you have to acknowledge that pain people just tell you let it go let it go let it go stop thinking about it let it go but i'm of the school of thought that is actually telling you let it stay because you have to deal with that emotion there is something about nature you cannot cheat nature in the real sense if you don't deal with that emotions that emotions will find one way or the other to express itself so you have to choose to deal with it or experience the consequences with it consequences it will bring in the future so what would you rather do please forgive the noise from the background and please pay attention through this process okay so first and foremost you have to acknowledge that you've been hurt and you have to for the first time be passionate to yourself be compassionate to yourself i'm sorry you are treated this way i am sorry you went through this you have to tell yourself sorry you have to be compassionate with yourself because it's only when you are compassionate with yourself that you can truly heal secondly you have to let your emotions out you have to let it out if it means you crying please by all means allow yourself to cry if it means you mourning allow yourself to mourn if you want to be that person that person hurts you so much get a get a maybe a mannequin or your pillow flog it as much as you can 
just to let that emotions go just to allow that strength and that pile of a pile up of emotion that you feels if you don't deal with it it will come back anyhow you need to let out your emotions but i recommend journaling journal out your thoughts journal out how you feel say everything you need to say and once you are done doing that there is another thing i recommend you do i recommend you hand it over to god that's if you're a christian or whatever you believe in tell god that you need to heal you cannot do it on your own you need him to heal you because it gets difficult especially in the area of forgiving that person but you need to understand that forgiveness is not about that person forgiveness is truly for you forgiveness is truly for you because when you forgive you give yourself you you at least for once in your life have compassion for that person maybe once what you've been having in your heart is hate pain everything just let it go forgive that person not for them but for you forgiveness is actually like removing that burden in your head removing that burden from your heart and actually tapping into yourself because you cannot truly tap into who you are or live your true life a happy life without letting go letting go in the sense of forgiving that person letting the burden down and also knowing that whatever whichever way you've been treated is not your fault because some people are still blaming themselves for past hurts past pain i need to get to that point where you just know that it is not your fault the way you were treated in the past has nothing to do with you and it has everything to do with them so let it go because hurting people hurt people if you are still hurting there is a high tendency that you will still hurt other persons so let it go with that being said the next one is i feel you should you can't do it alone you can't heal alone so you have to keep in touch with trusted people unquote trusted people not any kind of person you have to get in touch with trusted people tell them how you feel tell them how, which way you've been hurt because Sin and hurt thrives in a dark place. When you give whatever you're feeling light, when you open it up, there is a higher tendency that you will heal from that hurt. Okay? Also, start doing what you love. Tap into the true you. Start living again. Because some people, after whatever they may have gone through, they've lost the essence of life. So, I am here to tell you today that you should tap into living again. Tap into living again. Other people don't have to pay for what others did to you. Because it has nothing to do with them. Be compassionate with people. A lot of people are even to the extent of being church hot. They don't even want to hear anything about God and everything. I need you to understand today that whoever hurt you, it was them. It was them. Don't let whatever they have done to you change your course of belief. Crush down whatever you've believed in and all that. Just make sure that you are tapping into yourself and you don't let whatever they have done to you take stronghold in your life because you are giving whoever did that to you power. And they don't have to be repentant before you forgive them. Forgive them because you truly want to be a better person and you want to heal and live the best life for yourself okay then tap into whatever you are doing start being happy start doing things that give you joy and bring you happiness just truly express that part of you that is yearning for express okay and also you can seek professional help you can seek professional help it, you can go for therapy you can journal you can just start doing all those things and going back to discovering who you are again because in the process healing is part of the process of self-awareness and you cannot tap into your true creativity your true passion your true lo whatever you love tapping into however you love to do things if you've not truly healed creativity does not love obstruction and whatever you may have been carrying in your mind may be giving you a lot of hiccups obstruction just start healing from all those things and commit to becoming a better person to making better decisions to not letting whatever has happened in the past hold you hostage 
whatever had happened in the past should remain where it was or where it is which is in the past don't let it take hold of your future because the future is now and you need to take over and once you realize that you don't have all the time to live on this earth and that whoever may have hurt you may be living their best true and happy life you have no choice but to get up from there and i also love to mention that healing is not leaner at some point you feel like i feel good -na 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 -na. i am whole i am free <laughs> and the next minute you are playing a sad song and in your bed and like <laughs> that is to tell you that healing is not linear just like growth nothing is linear life has a lot of ups and downs okay life is not like a nollywood movie emeka emeka was angry that they insulted him in the village emeka was angry that they insulted him in the village and then he goes to the city and he makes bastard money and he comes to the village and starts flinging the money like and all the villagers are now scrambling and wanting to pick the money life is not like that growth is not linear today you feel your best tomorrow you feel your lowest but just keep at it okay and how do you know that you are healed how you know that you are truly healed is when those things that trigger you or make you that trigger those emotions no longer trigger you that means you've come to a place of i accept i acknowledge i sit with my heart i am dealing with them and i am truly truly letting go not in the sense of oh, let it go like flinging it's like it's not that easy okay so with that being said a lot of points but i don't want this video to be longer than it is already so i'll be recording a podcast please do check out the guts and tales podcast it's streaming on all platforms where podcasts are streaming and please i'll be recording the podcast and be sharing on my social media page and all and if you still want to keep up with me and get in touch with me follow me on instagram on Preshi Crates. Follow me on Instagram on Preshi Crates. Like, guys, please, I need your support. I need you to share this video, like, comment, and give me video recommendations what you want to be seen on this channel. Because <laughs> people know the challenges I faced trying to film this video. It was once I wanted to film this video that all the noise from nowhere, all distractions from east, west, north, and south started coming. But my, I will overcome in the mind okay so with that being said thank you for checking into my youtube channel today thank you for being a family please don't forget to like subscribe and share i love you and i'll see you in my next video bye